I am made for more, you are made for more, and we are all made for more. Welcome back to Okwe Inspires. How are you all doing? I hope everyone is doing absolutely fantastic. But today, this particular topic has been on my mind for a while now and I am just so super excited to talk about this topic. And my prayer is that as you watch this video, you will become more blessed and you will draw more strength from it and you become more strengthened and I pray that your eyes of understanding will become more opened. I am sure that without a doubt, this particular topic will definitely impact your life tremendously in a positive way. And without further ado, let's dive right into the topic of today. When you find yourself in a situation where you start asking yourself these questions. Questions like, why am I here? Questions like, what am I created for? Questions like, what am I created to do? Questions like, what is the reason for my existence? Then, you are about entering the stage of the change. You are becoming more aware of yourself. You are becoming more aware of your identity. You are becoming more aware of the fact that there is more to just live or exist. You are becoming more aware because there is more inside of you. And I call that state the state of the awakening. You are awake to discover more about yourself, to discover your purpose in life, to discover how to achieve and fulfill those God-given purpose in life. That is the season where you are about to walk into that change. That is the season where you are about to embrace that change. That is the season where you are about to become that change and everything that change has to offer you. You are made for more. Do you believe that? Yes, you are made for more. Do not let anything or anyone tell you otherwise because you are God's masterpiece. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. You are specially, you are uniquely, you are carefully made for a purpose. You are made for more than just living or existing. And when you understand this, it will change your perspective about everything generally. There are a lot of things that hinders most people from becoming the more that God has created them to be. And one of those things is fear. That is very common, fear. And until you let go of everything holding you back, break free of everything holding you back, you will not be able to understand that more. Walk in that more. Not to talk of becoming that more. When you know that you are made for more, you know that you can do all things through Christ that strengthens you. You know that with God, all things are possible. You know that the thoughts that God has towards you are good thoughts, good plans, and not evil. To give you what? To give you an expected end. When you know all these things and all other great promises that He has given us, you will confidently step out into that more. Confidently step out into that more and become that more. It is only when you activate the power in that more that you can become the more that God has called you to be. And how can you activate the power in that more? You can activate the power in that more by believing in God, believing in His words, trust Him the more, have faith in God, try as much as possible to obey Him, walk in His ways. And every blessed day, ensure that you are declaring this word over your life, over your kids, over your family, over your spouse. The more you declare this word over yourself, over your lives, the more you begin to walk in the fullness of God himself. When you know you're made for more, your mind and thought is renewed afresh and you become more confident to take bold steps to conquer that fear that has been holding you back, that has been limiting you. And the truth is that most times we all forget that God has actually equipped us with the necessary tools and resources for that more. And not just that, for more than we are capable of on our own. He has equipped us with everything. Greatness lies inside of us. We have so many gifts inside of us. When you understand this, 
This will help you to cherish the relationship that you have with God the more. This will help you to believe in God the more. This will help you to obey God the more. This will help you to walk more in His ways. And this will help you to find more joy in your journey in life and also discover your purpose in life. Not just joy alone. This will also help you to find perfect rests in God. You know, most times when we sit quietly, we begin to think about different questions, you know, questions like, what is that burden or desire in my heart? What do I long for? Is there, is there more to life? Is there more to this life? Oh yes, there is more to life. Yes, this earth is temporary. As Christians, heaven is our home. Heaven is our goal. We are all pressing towards the mark of the eye call. But as long as you're still alive on earth, ill and earthy, the more is needed here. And the more you utilize that more, I can tell you boldly that God himself will be happy with you. He'll be happy to see that the resources, the gifts he has given you, or that he has embedded inside of you, is being used for his great glory. And the more you use it, the more he releases more. The more you use it, the more he releases more. And sometimes, most people get scared of what to do and how to go. And at this point, a lot of people get stuck and just settle for anything. You shouldn't settle for anything. Yes, you will settle for something, but not just anything anything cannot be defined because it's anything but something can be defined you need to understand what you want define what you want and ultimately know what god wants for you and follow that path in every step that you take as long as your goals your dreams everything aligns with God's will for your life. He will direct you. He will protect you. He will guide you. He will shield you. He will give you more clarity. He will help you. He will give you rest. He will change your identity. He will glorify his great name in your life. He will make you a wonder for all to see. He will see that you succeed and do great exploits. He will bring you to a flourishing end and that is why he has assured us in the book of daniel chapter 11 verse 32 that they that know their god shall be strong and do great exploits and that is a great promise finally for today having the eyes of our understanding enlightened with truth gives us more strength and great power that's the power that we need the extraordinary power of the almighty god and through that power we will know or understand the truth of who we are and through that power we will also be able to live out that truth okay and that will be all for today if you find this helpful in any way please leave a comment below and click the like button and if you need to my channel Thank you. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. I do not take it for granted. And I will see you again in my next one. And until then, always remember this, that you are made for more. Because the truth is you are made for more.